how to create risers and falls from scratch in Logic Pro X. There's probably about five ways I can think of off the top of my head on how to do this. So we're gonna apply all of them very quickly and I'll show you how to build them using basic stock tools in Logic. First thing I'll do is just play you this last little one, two, three, four before it drops. We're gonna wanna build a and then when the drop happens, and variations of that. So here, one, you got me getting tipsy. I'm taking you home with me. Round round you go. Okay, something like that. So the first way to do it, I've kind of already taught this in a separate tutorial. However, we'll do this quickly. Add a new instrument, go down to our instruments, utility, and test oscillate. Start with pink noise. We're gonna leave this open and just, you'll hear it in the background for a little bit. While I open up my automation now, now I'll turn this down to zero, go into my channel, go to latch. And as I get closer to the drop here at the 17, I'll just bring the level up. And then right when it's at 17, bring it right back down. Round and round I go, losing all control. You got me getting tipsy. I'm taking you home with me. Round and round. Now I'm going to do that again by taking the EQ and starting it with no highs and ending with all highs. Round and round I go, losing all control. You got me getting tipsy. I'm taking you home with me. And now we can be creative with it by adding a tremolo, let's say. Take this back to read so I don't keep automating. Round and round I go, losing all control. You got me getting tipsy. I'm taking you home with me. Round and round you. It's still subtle and it's okay. We want that. But that's one quick way. And to do your drop, you can do a few things. You can reverse this. Now we can close our automation. We can control click, create a MIDI region. And then control click again, bounce in place. And now our white noise is turned into a wave file. Go down to the editor window, go to file, functions, and reverse. And it'll reverse both of them. Bounce in place again. Okay. <laughs> we can erase that. And now we can do the same thing again. And now we have two. One is going inward, one is going outward. Now we can take this one that's dropping and transpose it, say up seven. And now we can play with it. We can use that wave file. We can go back to this one, turn the tremolo back on. Round and round I go, losing all control. You got me getting tipsy. I'm taking you home with me. Round and round you go, spinning on the pole. Okay, you get the basic premise. Second way to do this, create a software instrument. You could probably even do this with drum synth or other stuff that's in Logic. Go to drum synth. Hats and symbols. This is actually a pretty crappy crash slash symbol. However, we will use this just to demonstrate this quickly. Why not? We're going to record this. I'm losing control. I'm losing control. Round and round I go. Now I'm going to control click, bounce in place. Okay, so now I have my symbol as a WAV file. I'm going to hold down Alt and just drag this right out. And now after I click down here, I'm going to hold down Control to fine tune drag and get rid of everything up until there. And now I have a very slow crash. I'm gonna control click, bounce in place yet again. Turn this back on. We are gonna need it, but I'll just mute it for a second. And now this, again, go down to file, functions, reverse. And now we have our drop, or our, sorry, our buildup. And then here is our drop. You got me getting tipsy. I'm taking you home with me. Round and round you go, spinning on the pole. Our drop is starting to sound a little more full. So I have my pitch shifter up and we're going to go like this. Or you can do the reverse going upwards if you're doing the build up part. So I'm just going to turn my latch on, just press play and start dragging this down. Now we have a drop that is falling. Sounds weird on its own, but it sounds good when it's in the track. Round and round I go, losing all control. You got me getting tipsy. I'm taking you home with me. Round and round you go, spinning on the pole. The third way to do this, open up an instrument and choose any synth. We'll go to alchemy. I'll choose a lead. Try to find a sound that is sustained. Okay, so I found a sound here that will work with this. So I'm just going to record a very quick sustained note. I'm losing control. I'm losing control. Round and round I go. So now this is it right here. And now I can also automate anything in alchemy. So I'll go to latch. These are my tunes. This might have to do a few passes, but we can just change the semitones in the tune up, 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 up over the course of these four bars and we'll have a slow riser. So I'll just quickly do this in a few passes as it loops around. Round and round I go, losing all control. You got me getting tipsy. I'm taking you home with me. 
And once we have all those done, we can do it to the master as well. We'll bring it down even lower. We'll start down to minus 12 and go to plus 12. Round and round I go, losing all control. You got me getting tipsy from taking you home with me. Okay, now I'm going to solo that and let you guys hear what just happened here real quick with just doing a few passes on a sustained note in alchemy to build a riser. Now to get rid of all that extra stuff that we don't need, control click, bounce in place. Great, now I can drag this back. I can fade it in slowly over time. I can shift it more, I can tremolo it, all that kind of stuff. I'll do a bounce in place one more time. Now I can bring it over here and reverse it individually without reversing both. And now I have a drop of the same effect. I'll transpose it minus seven, minus five. And now let's see how we did with this. We'll also pitch this a little bit left and this one a little bit right. And now we have a beautiful riser and fall. I've muted the other risers and falls that we've created so far, so it'll be just these. Round and round I go, losing all control. You got me getting tipsy from taking you home with me. Round and round you go, standing on the floor. It adds so much to your tracks when you have nice risers and falls, and they don't always have to be this powerful but I wanna showcase them here, make sure they're loud and easy to hear. On to the next way of doing this. Add an audio layer. Turn on your microphone, don't be scared, and try something. I'm losing control, I'm losing control. Round and round I go, losing all control. You got me getting tipsy, I'm taking you home with me. Round Should have muted the other ones, my bad. But now that we have this, we can manipulate this with any of our effects. Round and round I go, losing all control. You got me getting tipsy. I'm taking you home with me. Round Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with you doing it with your voice. We can duplicate it in our editor and reverse. And let's transpose down. Random amount, sure, minus eight. Now we have a nice little buildup. I'm actually going to take all the other sounds and pull this back a little bit so that we do hear a little bit of the drop. Round and round I go, losing all control. You got me getting tipsy. I'm taking you home with me. Okay, I can think of one more way to make these at least, which would be to get an instrument that you have, which can hold a sustaining note, which you can turn glide portamento legato on. And take your time up quite a lot and just automate that over this until the drop happens. So let's go. Okay, so the tremolo is on 132. This should give us a nice chopped up riser. There is a sixth option. There's probably more ways to do this than these five that I showed you anyway, but the sixth option and the one you guys probably are going to use because it's the most convenient and I don't blame you. I just really wanted to show you how to make your own because I think it's always nice to make your own everything. But yes, risers and falls do come in sound packs. You can just drag it into where you need it to your build up, drag in your fall. However, that is how you make your own risers and falls in Logic Pro X from scratch. Next lesson.